Greetings, you overgrown arches. I hope you're doing well. You can get orthotics for that. My name is Graham, and welcome to the crack -a pack here on LRRMTG, where today I am opening a set booster of Strixhaven School of Mages. Yeah, that's the full set of that. So not a lot of people remember the little subtitle there. So Strixhaven. This pack was given to us in October 2023 through the mail by Jupiter778 on Discord. Now, October 2023 is the date Jupiter put on it. I have no idea when we actually opened it. I vaguely r recall opening it. Uh, anyway, set boosters, let's go. The pull tab didn't work. That's so you can tell it came through mail time. First up, this is supposed to be the other way around, surely. Anyway, it's an art card for Revel in Silence. Never would have been able to name that offhand. I think this is from a double-faced card, maybe. Anyway, it's Revel in Silence, and it looks neat. Next, a Plains. Okay, <clears throat> that's two of the cards. <laughs> Only 10 more to go. Actually, wait, no, how? it says 12 cards. This is a token of an elemental. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so it doesn't count the art card as a card, because I know they count land as a card, so that's twelve. So the art card is just a fun bonus. Same with the token. Those are for you. Enjoy them. Next, Pest Summoning. One hybrid Golgari, hybrid Golgari, so three mana, but you can order the colors how you wish to. Create two 1-1 one, one black and green pest creature tokens with when this creature dies, you gain one life. And it's a lesson. Which means you could leave this in your sideboard until you cast a spell with learn, and then you could go and get it from your sideboard. Or you could just run it in your deck. But the, uh, the school board, as we called it, was a fun thing. A fun little place to hide some spells for added value, I guess. Mage Duel. This is one of the better green removal spells in this set. It's two and a green for a sorcery. The spell costs two colorless less to cast if you've cast another instant or sorcery this turn. So if you cast something else, then this is only one green mana. And a creature you control gets plus one plus two until end of turn and then fights something else. So you were favored to live through that. Mage Duel's good stuff. Especially if you have something like Charge Through, which is only one green mana. Target creature gains Trample until end of turn, and you draw a card. See, they're playing um, Mage Ball, what's it called? Mage Tower. That's what it is. What a move! Lorehold gets caught flat-footed and Witherbloom barrels ahead, says Kremick, Mage Tower commentator. I don't think there was ever like a full explanation of how to play Mage Tower. It involved capturing the opposing team's mascots, which is why this player is carrying the head of one of the Lorehold, like, ancestor spirits, the three twos that Quint makes that are like stone. So it's like an inkling and a pest and this thing and these, ele these enormous elementals. I don't know how this is supposed to work. The less said about Mage Tower, po possibly the better. Frost Trickster. It's a Frost Lynx, what can fly. Two and a blue for a 2-2 bird wizard with flying. And when it enters the battlefield, tap a creature and opponent controls, and that creature does not untap during its controller's next untap step. Yeah. A Frost Lynx, what flies. Big fan. Oh, Mentor's Guidance. I love this card. It's two and a blue to scry one and draw a card. And that sounds bad. I know, but wait. When you cast this spell, copy it if you control a Planeswalker, Cleric, Druid, Shaman, Warlock, or Wizard. First of all, I'm going to admit to you right now that reading it out loud just now is the first time that I noticed that it counts Planeswalkers. <laughs> I had no idea. I thought it was just all those creature types of Cleric, Druid, Shaman, Warlock, Wizard. Or Planeswalker, sure, why not? Secondly... So many of the clerics, druids, shamans, warlocks, wizards in this set have magecraft, which cares about whether you cast or copy spells. So generally speaking, if you're getting to 
copy this, you're also getting uh, some other bonus twice. And yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, explosive welcome. Bring this back to arena, please. <laughs> I love drafting this set. Seven and a red for an instant. Eight mana for an instant. Explosive welcome deals five damage to any target and three damage to any other target. And you add red, red, red. So you get three mana back from it, but also you've domed one thing for five and a different thing for three. Also, this is meant to be a fireworks display <laughs> for people joining the Prismari. They're like, welcome. <laughs> and someone gets hurt very badly and someone else gets annihilated, but they make such nice mana from it. Oh, you're joining the Prismari? Well, it's the welcome fireworks display tonight, so good luck. Oh, and then Will and Rowan can move on to more practical research. It's practical research. Three blue, red for an instant, draw four cards. Then discard two cards unless you discard an instant or sorcery card. Right, set boosters are vaguely themed, aren't they? So we got like Mentor's Guidance, the Explosive Welcome, and the Practical Research. I guess there's other red green stuff. Nope, there sure isn't. All right, cool. Well, I'm full of lies. And lunch. I'm full of both of those things. I'm full of lies and a BLT. And a bit of coffee. And beans, but not in the actual food way. Hey, Selfless Glyph Weaver is next. This is our rare. One of the rares? One, one of the rares. We've got three rares. Okay. Selfless Glyph Weaver. Two and a white for a 2-3 human cleric. And you can exile it to give all your creatures indestructible until end of turn. Or, if you'd rather not do that, you could also cast the other side of it, which is Deadly Vanity. Five black, black, black for a sorcery. Choose a creature or planeswalker, then destroy all other creatures and planeswalkers. Um, so that's quite powerful. Generally, you played Selfless Glyph Weaver. I don't know that I ever saw anyone play Deadly Vanity. Uh, the art by Johannes Voss is like a panorama. Like if you put them side by side, these two mages are in a fight. Uh, also, the mage on Deadly Vanity, the outfit she is wearing absolutely slaps so hard. It's an incredible look. Yeah, that card's all right. Accomplished Alchemist is next. It is three and a green for a 2-5 elf druid and you tap to add one mana of any color or tap to add X mana of any color where X is the amount of life you've gained this turn which if that's more than one, then that's better than just the first ability. Also it's a two five, so it blocks really well. This is for the Golgari deck where you're incidentally gaining life. Good stuff. Uh, hey, we have a mystical archive card. It's one of the weaker ones. It's divine gambit, white, white for a sorcery, exile target artifact, creature or enchantment and opponent controls. That player may put a permanent from their hand onto the battlefield. So they just get to put something into play for free. So you kind of have to wait until you're pretty sure they don't have anything that would be scary. But then you could cast it. It's, I don't know. I, I Every time I see it, I just think of <laughs> the first time it was revealed. I don't even remember in what set it was. And Cameron read it and said, that's a very novel way to lose the game of magic. And uh, it sure is. And finally, in foil... We have our other, other rare. It's the Auric Lore Mage. Auric, O-R-I-Q. Two black, black for a 3-3 three, three human relic. And you tap to search your library for a card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle. If it's an instant or sorcery, then you put a plus one, plus one counter on Auric Lore Mage. Nothing can quell the Auric's thirst for the forbidden secrets of the past. Well, surely if you just answer all their questions and they're not secrets anymore. And then they can, I don't know, get a hobby farm and raise geese. I mean, it beats this booster, which is worth about $1.43. So there's that. This might surprise you, but you know, I've talked a lot about how I draft Strixhaven. So I would be for, out of these, out of this 12 card set booster that can't be drafted, I would be first picking uh, Mentor's Guidance and confident that I would wheel Explosive Welcome, or at least practical research, but I'd be very confident that I would be wheeling Explosive Welcome. Um, what what should you take? Probably Accomplished Alchemist. Probably. Thanks, Jupiter. Much appreciated. 
<laughs> Thanks for sending us this pack. You can send us packs through the mail too if you want to the address on your screen. Or you can also support us directly at Patreon dot com slash loading ready run or by becoming a member on this channel you can click the word join down below and that helps us out also until next time though i have been graham joined by james uh, matt edits these with jordan heather gets them online thank you all so much for being here and for watching and we'll talk to you next time bye everybody <laughs>